Strong character development? Don't need it. Well developed story? Don't need it. Budget to have multiple scenes and scenery? Don't need it. Let's talk about Doom Asylum. So yeah, funny intro aside, this is a really positive review because I do like the movie Doom Asylum. Um, a little bit about this pickup and why I got it. I don't know for sure if this movie is getting limited or harder to find. I just know that it wasn't on Amazon or anything and I went to Diabolic DVD and saw that it said limited stock on their website so I decided I don't know. I think I want to get this movie and of course the amazing Osborne, Justin Osborne artwork does not ever hurt. So Doom Asylum. Let's talk just a little bit about the plot. So this movie starts out with this guy and this girl in the car and they're talking about all this money they're about to win and they're going to live this lap of luxury and yada yada and then a boom a car crash happens so we foreshadow to the guy who was driving the car he looks like he's being taken apart by morticians when one of the morticians starts to literally saw away at his face well all of a sudden the other guy who looks like he's a student says oh my god this man's not dead and he starts getting up I want to know how he made it to that point being dead it, like I said storyline <laughs> It doesn't exactly add up, so to speak. So Doom Asylum basically shows this group of kids going to this abandoned place to go hang out, and there's this band of these girls there, beautiful women. There is no word to describe the sound that they were making. I don't know if music can even begin to describe the sounds that these girls were making. It was bizarre. Obviously, they couldn't afford to get any type of music or pay somebody to record a song it was literal bizarre noise it has to be seen to be believed in this movie wow but when our group of teens get there to hang out and party and have fun they start to tussle around with the band but you can see there's a little sexual tension between two of them and you know so they start hanging out well the guy who was dead but came to life after half of his face gets sawed off in the mortuary starts to wreak havoc on everybody in this building, the Doom Asylum. And it's really creepy. What I did like about the Doom Asylum, as it were, was it took place in the daytime, so the movie looked great because it, to me it always seems like when sunlight can be involved in the scenery and broad, bright daylight, the picture quality just looks fantastic. And you get that a lot, pretty much predominantly throughout this whole movie. So intro aside, like I said, all the silly things, I do like Doom Asylum, but I want to call Doom Asylum what I truly think it is. It's a gore effects reel. That's really what it is. You know, there's movies like Spookies that you could say the same thing for. There's not much story to a movie like Spookies. I enjoy Spookies, but it's an effects reel. There's nothing but basically scenes with practical crazy effects. And Doom Asylum is that, but on like the gore kill side. And I really liked Doom Asylum for that. A couple things about Doom Asylum. It almost seems like the people that made this movie, they weren't trying to do something really philosophical or, or you know, uh, really something to get inside of your emotions. It is what it is. It's a slasher film with a lot of gore, and that's really it. This movie doesn't really have a really long runtime. I think with the credits and all, it's an hour and 18 minutes which I think works to the benefit of Doom Asylum. I don't know if there was like a rated R cut of this movie back in the day, but this movie is unrated and all the gore is there in this movie. And honestly, it looked pretty disgusting and I really liked the gore in Doom Asylum. Really fun. Some of the scenes with a drill going straight through a guy's head is just really hard to watch, but it's so practical and lovely. And you, can, you really can't take your eyes off it as hard as it is because it looks so great and it's there on camera. They don't shy away from it. That's what Doom Asylum is. It's a special effect, I guess, slasher movie, if you will. I don't know. You know, there's no knives really in Doom Asylum. It's a lot of weaponry, which is great. But it's a fun movie. I mean, it's just a really fun, low budget, knows what it is, gore movie. And I think that's cool. So our guy who has become the Doom Monster, he looks like he's straight out of a Rob Zombie film to me because he's got this really bizarre, just, def just deformed, darkened face. And his hair is fine, obviously. His hair looks totally fine. He's got like the Morton Downey Jr. hair going on. And his character is like something like Freddy. Like this is the later 80s, so I know that Freddy's popularity at this point was massive. So every time he gets ready to kill, funny one-liners. But the odd thing is at the end, when he has this one girl trapped outside of the building, he starts to go into this emotional spell about 
he thinks it's his fiance, and it just seemed really out of <laughs> out of place, I guess, throughout the whole movie. But it was really you can't complain about that because like I said this is really just a fun gory horror movie some things won't add up some things won't exactly make sense but they do things right I think for a movie like this the movie doesn't drag on there's not a long run time the characters while they don't have the most impressive dialogue it keeps you highly entertained they have good looking women in the movie and the kills are a plenty and they keep them coming so Doom Asylum I just thought was a fun entertaining movie you know not everything has to be silence of the lambs not everything has to be you know the sixth sense as it were some things can just be fun and that's one of my favorite things as a horror fan to watch movies that are just just junk food fun junk food and this was a double double beef bacon cheeseburger with a large fry and you know a large coke that's what this movie was and I had a blast with it I could easily see myself revisiting Doom Asylum anytime like I said, the gore is the reason to see this movie because it is gory. Now in terms of the Blu-ray for Arrow Video's Doom Asylum, great, a 2K restoration. The picture was fantastic. As I said, the bulk of the movie takes place in this abandoned warehouse building in the middle of the daytime. So the picture quality just resonates and it shines the entire time. It looked fantastic. We've got some great interviews with here with the producers and the special effects guy that we're really inside of. and. You learned a lot about Doom Asylum. The special, the special features for Doom Asylum were good. They weren't over abundance and great and take you forever to see it. But they're very informative and good and I really enjoyed a release like this. Doom Asylum. If you guys are into gory, fun, junk food horror movies, I think this one is great. Check it out. You'll have a great laugh. Especially if you're kind of the nightmare fan with the one-liner kills. Great stuff. Doom Asylum. I give it an A-. Check it out.